Be Wealthy and Smart, episode 451. into a world of wealth and financial freedom without budgets, boredom, or bosses on Be Wealthy and Smart. And now, here's your host, Linda P. Jones. Welcome to Be Wealthy and Smart. I'm Linda P. Jones, America's Wealth Mentor, empowering women and men worldwide to financial freedom. On today's show, we're going to talk about the luxury real estate market and how that market seems to be softening. Now, sometimes the high-end market precedes the rest of the real estate market. So it's good to keep an eye on what is happening with very, very expensive homes. Plus, I think it's also very interesting to just talk about it and talk about what the wealthy are doing, what billionaires are doing, because very often they are aware of trends, cycles, and things that are happening before we are. So I wanted to share this article with you from CNBC, and it was written by Robert Frank and it's called the $1 billion price cut, luxury real estate gets slashed. And the bullet points here are, the high-end real estate market has seen steep price cuts in recent months as foreign buyers dry up and new tax laws kick in. Also, the Ziff family estate in Manalapan, Florida, cut its price in May by $27 million from $165 million to $138 million. And even the Oracle of Omaha, Warren Buffett, has had to lower his asking price on his beach home in Laguna Beach. And here's what the article says. The most expensive real estate in America just became a little less expensive with $1 billion in price cuts among America's top listings over the past few months, according to a CNBC analysis. The high-end real estate market has seen steep price cuts in recent months as foreign buyers dry up, new tax laws bite the wealthiest states, and sellers realize the market peak of 2014 to 2015 isn't coming back anytime soon, luxury brokers say. According to Redfin, the real estate brokerage and research firm, fully 12% of homes listed for $10 million or more saw a price drop in 2018 double the levels of 2016 and 2015. Just over 500 listings in the U.S. had a combined price cut of $1 billion in the second quarter, according to Redfin. Prices were growing too fast for what buyers were willing to pay, said Taylor Marr, a senior economist at Redfin. Some of the price cuts have reached tens of millions of dollars, according to the listing. The Ziff family estate in Manalapan, Florida, I don't know how to pronounce that, sorry if I messed it up, (laughs) cut its price in May by $27 million from $165 million to $138 million. That follows a previous price cut from $195 million last year. So its price has dropped by $57 million over the past year. A 10-bedroom mansion on Miami Beach's posh Star Island cut its price by $17 million in May from $65 million to $48 million. A giant apartment at New York's Sherry Netherland had its price cut by $18 million, falling from $86 million to $68 million. The cuts follow a spate of even bigger cuts earlier this year. The $250 million mansion in Bel Air, California, known as The Billionaire, became America's most expensive listing when it came onto the market for $250 million in 2017. In April, the price was cut by a massive $62 million to $188 million. Brokers representing the house said that unique homes like The Billionaire, which comes with a $30 million car collection, a giant outdoor TV that retracts from behind the pool, and elevators lined with crocodile skin, said the home is just finding its true market price. There is no comp for a house like this, said Sean Elliott, one of the brokers for The Billionaire. So the new price reflects the price offered by a recent potential buyer. 
A spec home in Beverly Hills called Opus was listed in August of 2017 for $100 million, but the price was cut to $85 million a month later. Now the home, which once had a gold theme, has been restyled in black in hopes of finding a buyer. The late Johnny Carson's estate in Malibu, California, saw its price drop by $16 million to $65 million from $81 million. The house is being sold by fashion magnate and film producer Sidney Kimmel. Even homes that see big price cuts are selling for less than their discounted prices. A $20,000 square foot mansion in the Hamptons, once owned by fashion mogul Vince Camuto, was first listed in 2008 for $100 million. Its price got chopped to $72 million, and it sold this spring for around $50 million, half of its original listing price. Even the Oracle of Omaha, Warren Buffett, has had to lower his asking price on his beach home in Laguna Beach. The home was listed in 2017 for $11 million, but he has slashed the price to $7.9 million. He's still likely to make a big profit. He bought the home in the early 70s for $150,000. Wow. The reason for the price drops are many. In some cases, the prices for the homes were fantasies. Sellers had irrational expectations or they were using the sky-high prices to attract attention to their properties. The luxury real estate market has fallen since its peak in 2014 and 2015, and many sellers are finally adjusting to a different market. Supply of homes at the high end is also high, especially for newer condos and spec homes in New York, Los Angeles, and major metro areas. There could be an oversupply of these high-end homes, Mars said. The new federal tax law, which limits deductions of state and local taxes, is also putting pressure on real estate in high-tax states. And foreign buyers, who were driving some of the highest price sales in 2014 and 2015, have pulled back. A stronger dollar has also made U.S. real estate more expensive. It's unclear whether the price cuts signal an upcoming crash in the luxury market. Prices could simply adjust without a severe correction. But the size of these cuts suggests that many luxury listings have yet to find their sales prices. Price cuts can be a great leading indicator and give a forward-looking view, Mar said, but it's too early to tell where it's headed. End of article. Well, I would say the luxury market is already crashing. Did you see some of those discounts they talked about? 50%. A 50% cut in a price of a luxury home, I think you could call a crash. But it does sound like they listed these way too high. And again, we had a lot of foreign buyers coming in from Russia and China that were buying up these high-end homes. I know that when Candace Spelling sold her $100 million home, wife of producer Aaron Spelling, it was sold to a Russian billionaire. And now that Russian billionaire has turned around and put that home back on the market, I think for less than they bought it for. And they did a lot of remodeling and and put a lot of money into it. So we're seeing high-end luxury real estate prices really come down. And typically, the high-end luxury real estate market will precede the rest of the real estate market. So could we see a bigger correction in housing in general? Yes, I think we could. And that depends mainly on what happens with interest rates. If interest rates continue to rise, I think there's a better chance that we will see prices come down, not necessarily crashing in the residential market, but definitely some form of correction. I'm already noticing more homes for sale and more inventory in certain markets that really had no inventory available for quite a long time. So it's something to watch, something to keep an eye on. It's also something that is a trend that author Harry Dent predicted a long time ago, that these very large, what he calls McMansions, would become less attractive for people to own, that people would be less likely to want to maintain these huge monstrous homes. And I think that's going to be true in general for a lot of people who want to downsize, want to live a simpler life, and don't want to have these huge, enormous properties for just a few people to live in or you can't even find each other. It's such a big house. So I wanted to share that with you. I thought it was an interesting article and I hope you enjoyed that. If you haven't yet 
rated, reviewed, and subscribed to the podcast, please do that. I'd love to hear from you and hear what you think of the show. And if we're not connected on Instagram, I'm giving wealth tips and quotes and all kinds of teachings over on instagram.com forward slash Linda P. Jones. I would love to connect with you there. That's all for today. Until next time, live the good life and be wealthy and smart. Thank you for listening to Be Wealthy and Smart with Linda P. Jones. Share the wealth and tell your family and friends about the show. Check out our website, blog, and social media for more riches at www.bewealthyandsmart.com.